Yo, what is up guys, Sergio Golden here, and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'll try to complete this Grand Challenge live for you guys. As you see right now, I'm not winning the Grand Challenge, so I can't uh, afford losing once. But of course, I need to win three more times to complete the Grand Challenge, and I'll try to complete it with this Royal Hoax. Uh, yeah, three Musketeers kind of like a Fireball bait, because they can also, like, of course, use the Fireball on the Hunter. Let's say they have, like, a Giant. The Hunter is really good against those types of units, three Musketeers, of course, and the Royal Hoax. And, of course, like, also if they have a Poison, like, Hunter and three Musketeers have a really good synergy. Royal Hawks, in my opinion, are super, super good in the meta. Also, guys, I do have uh, the Royal Ghost in this deck, as you can see. But you can also put Valkyrie, like, it's personal. Uh, like, whatever you prefer. Like, just try it, like, both out if you haven't tried both out. But personally, I prefer Royal Ghost just because it applies a little bit more pressure. Like, in my opinion, it's just a little bit better. Then the Ice Golem Skeletons. We don't have Elixir Collector in this deck. Even though we have three Mustiers, we don't have Elixir Collector. It's not really needed, in my opinion. But we do have a big spell, the Fireball. So that's actually really cool to, for example, Fireball Cycle with Loke or something like this. It's actually a really, um, yeah, unique deck, in my opinion opinion it is quite popular though you might have seen like this deck already but i still want to share it with you guys if you don't know this deck like if you haven't seen it and of course i'll try to complete it uh yeah the grand challenge life for you guys i would say let's just hop into the first match guys so it's actually a really first style like i said like it depends on your opponent like spells of course you will first try to get information royal ghost definitely applies a lot of pressure so in this case i wouldn't uh yeah recommend just randomly starting with royal Oaks because let's say our opponent has mega knight let's say our opponent has a fireball in this case he has a royal ghost so it could be maybe even a mirror match um, so we definitely don't want to, yeah, start aggressive. We just try to, like, find information about our opponent. Royal Ghost could also mean Mega Knight still. So it looks like he does go with a Fireball. I'll actually go with Skelly's, um, Ice Golem. Then I will go with a Royal Ghost. Since he used a Fireball and he probably also has this deck, I also use Royal Ghost. I'll actually go with Royal Hawks over here and then I will have my look ready in case he actually has a Pekka. So he has Pekka, um... Fireball, Royal Ghost, really interesting deck, but he did use the Fireball, so I will actually try to save up for three Musketeers here. Hopefully, he actually tries to support his Pekka. This way, the Musketeers will even be able to get more value, especially because next card, next card is the Skeletons. We will be able to, uh, yeah, distract the Pekka. So, let's see if he will go with something behind this. Looks like he doesn't. I think the uh, Distraction Skeletons are not needed, especially because three um, Musketeers are locked on and the Tower as well. So, he has, wow, really strange deck. He definitely a uh, hard matchup for us. He has Wizard, Pekka, Royal Ghost, Minions, and then Fireball. So let's see guys, he might go with, um, no, I'll actually just go with Skeletons, and then I think I'll go with a Ghost here, in case he, for example, uses a Zap, and then I'll go with Royal Ghost on his uh, Wizard. So since he has a Fireball, we definitely want to bait out his Fireball, so of course we don't want to give him value, like going with Royal Hawks uh, in the same lane. So here I will just go with uh, with a look, and then I will take some damage on the right side. Actually on both lanes, like it will still deal a lot of damage. But I don't want him to be able to get a lot of Fireball value, so I'll actually split my Royal Hawks this way, like he can't... Um, like fireball all of them so in this case i actually split one of them to the right side to thank for the royal hawk or for the royal ghost excuse me so he does give us a good fireball I'll definitely take the fireball hitting the five elixir wizard and the tower uh, and also we dealt a ton of damage to the left side so that was definitely um yeah a good like split lane push as you guys saw like if i dropped them all in one lane he would have just been able to fireball but in this case he had to choose and he actually i think like maybe he was kind of like panicking for example um because like he didn't really know what to drop and then he dropped a wizard for the right side but we still dealt a ton of damage so let's see guys, he definitely has Fireball and Cycle, but I still want to split three Musketeers, um, one to the left side actually, so that's good, because he will most likely like Fireball the right side, and actually I will try to bait out the Fireball already with the Royal Hawk, so if he used the Fireball, no, there you go, there's the Fireball, so look at the Royal Hawks guys, and he also used the Zep, so they will definitely, um, they can go with Skeletons on the left side safely. So that's actually really good, even if the opponent uses like a Fireball on the Royal Hawks, or even if like in this case like Lock and the Zap, it still gets a ton of damage. So as you guys see, we countered the Pekka. Fortunately, Musketeer on the left side did die, but let's actually split again three Musketeers. One to the right side, two to the left side, and let's see guys. So I might just uh, actually go with a Hunter to the side. Let's see if he will go with his Lock or Zap or something to, to kill this, but I think with the Musketeer. So it looks like he does go with his, uh, actually like an all in push. I'll actually go with my Fireball and then I will Lock. He also used the Zap, but I think the Pekka will die. Look at the left side, guys. He's still forced to respond to that. And I think I'll just send Royal Hawks out to the left side. Maybe I should have split. Yeah, I think actually I should have split, but I don't think it matters. Left side is actually in Fireball Lock range. So even if the right side tower, like the Royal Hawks, wouldn't be able to take on the right side tower, can always cycle back to Fireball Lock, especially because the deck actually cycles pretty quick, guys. So that's definitely a good game. Uh, forgot to give him the good Good game well played and a thumbs up but um yeah so 10 one in the grand challenge as i said really uh, like unique really cool and first deck so i would say let's hop into the next match and let's see what kind of matchup we get so he had a really strange deck like he had pekka triple spell uh with the fireball which is definitely good against our deck of course but also like we bait the fireball so it definitely has even if he has a fireball like it's actually um yeah, like, we just need to play smart, like, we need to bait out the Fireball, as I did, for example, baiting it out with the Three Musketeers, then I could go with the Royal Hawks in the right side, but it looks like searching for opponent takes a while, so I'll just edit it out when we find the match.
Okay guys, looks like we're in the second match, looks like we're facing Kellet, let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. So we start off with Hunter, Skeleton, Three Musketeers and Royal Hawks. Next card is the Lock, so I might just cycle with Skeletons in the back. Uh, but let's see if our opponent drops something, let's see if he wants to start with something. Looks like so far not really. Also I can just start off with a Hunter in the back, I mean it's not the best play, but looks like he goes with Lock. So I would just cycle Skeletons and then probably also Lock like his tower. So it looks like he does have Zeppi, so Zeppis and Lock could be in... Uh, for example, Mega Knight, like Mega Knight Royal Hawks are actually pretty popular, like with Spear Goblins and Bats, actually a really good um, yeah, meta deck like at the moment. But let's see like let's see what he drops as other cards. So it looks like he does go with his Royal Hawks. I'll actually fire about the left side since we already have a Hunter on this side. So I'll actually go where my Royal goes. Hunter was able to get a lot of value and again I'll split one uh, Royal Hawk to the right side and three to the left side. So it looks like he does have Valkyrie and he has a Tombstone, so definitely a really good counter to the Royal Hawks. Definitely well played on his part, but it looks like the Royal Ghost is still alive. It looks like the Hunter is still there, so we definitely deal a lot of damage to the Valkyrie as well. Which is good for us, because then of course, like on the counter push, we probably just can counter with Skeletons, like distracted with Skeletons. So he has um, Valkyrie, I assume that he also has a Fireball, I'm not sure if he already showed it, I don't think so. And then he also has Royal Hawk, so he does go with Mega Minion. So let's actually go with Hunter into the same lane, and let's see if he drops again like his Royal Hawks, or let's see what his play is. He does have Zeppies as well, he might split them. There you go, there are the Zeppies, so I think I just will split three Musketeers. Looks like he actually goes with uh, Magic Archer. Actually investing a lot of Elixir, I will go with uh, three Musketeers. Look, he does get a really good Fireball hitting all of them. I'll actually go with the Ice Golem over here, trying to tank for the Musketeer. I do think that he has Lock, yeah, there you go, there's his Lock. So actually a really good Fireball, gave him too much value. I should have just split it in the back, but what I, um, like what I tried to do there was protect my Hunter, but it didn't really like make any sense, to be honest. So I should have just split it in the back. But he did use his um, his fireball, but again, like his Falkyrie cycle, and he has tombstone. So going with like Royal Hawks in one lane wouldn't really make sense. It just allows him to make like uh, yeah a counter push. Of course, we will probably get a little bit of chip damage. But let's see, guys. Let's go with Royal Ghost in the back. Let's go with skeletons. Let's go with Hunter. And this time, I will split my Musketeers like this. So let's see if he goes with his um, his Magic Archer again. I don't think so because the Royal Ghost is there. So we split through Musketeers. Let's see if he goes with something. Looks like the Hunter will be able to kill the Mega Minion with the help of the tower. He actually does give us a Fireball. Do need to watch out with using my Fireball since he has Royal Hawks. But let's actually go with Royal Hawks over here. And let's then actually lock his um, Tombstone. There you go. Also the Valkyrie. So the Tombstone will go down. Also hit the Zeppis, which is pretty good. Look at the right side. Musketeer actually locks on for three hits, which is actually pretty good. Left side Musketeers are still there. He still needs to respond to them. Let's actually go with a Royal Ghost. Um, and I think, no, he actually does go with Royal Hawks, so I'll actually go with Hunter and I will go with Skeletons, I'll actually go with Royal Hawks as well. So he is able to get a lot of chip damage, I have my look ready in case he goes with Tombstone, looks like he doesn't, so he actually decides to just let it be, and I think that's actually a lot of damage. Look at the left side, Royal Hawks still alive, uh, one Royal Hawks actually full HP. Let's split Musketeers again, I do want to watch out with the Magic Archer, but I think it's fine to take a little bit of damage, and then I will actually, um, yeah, focus on defense right now, if he decides to go in the opposite lane. Let's actually go with a Royal Ghost over here, trying to force out his Valkyrie, like to block that. If not, he actually goes with a Tombstone. So let's go with Skeletons right now. Let's actually wait for him to... Um Okay, let's go with Royal Hawk. No, let's actually go with a Hunter in the back. Wasn't really sure what to do right there. I think I'll just go with Hunter, and I think I might actually split Royal Hawks right now. He does have Tombstone again, I think. Um, no, it looks like he does go with Zeppies. I'll actually try to get a pretty good fireball here and hitting his Zeppies and hitting his magic arch. And look at the left side, guys, actually dealing a lot of damage. Let's keep the pressure with Royal Ghost. He definitely can go with Royal Hawks right now. There you go. There are the Royal Hawks. Let's actually go with a look. Let's go with Ice Golem to block the Valkyrie. Let's go with a Hunter to the side. And look at the Royal Ghost. Royal Ghost actually locked on and he actually ignored it. Let's go with a fireball. He did knock it back with a um, look, so that was actually well played on his part. And he might go with a magic arch here. There you go. There's the magic archer. Let's go with a look to retarget that. Hopefully, the Royal Ghost will actually be able to kill it. Looks like it is is able to kill it and we just need to cycle ice golem skeletons and right now we just need to save up hopefully in time let's see fireballs going there royal hawks are there but looks like we are in time hopefully yeah there you go we are in time so that's definitely a good game let's give him the good game give him the war plate and let's give him the thumbs up so as you guys can see 11 one in the grand challenge right now and this is just such a good deck guys as you saw like at the end the royal ghost was actually able i thought that they would actually take the tower but he had a really good look and then tombstone like distracted um, but actually like the Royal Ghost applies so much pressure, especially like since it's just free elixir, but you really can't ignore it. Like if you ignore it, it deals so much damage. I think over 1000 damage even, it has such like, um, yeah, like much HP, 1100, I think it's the same like as a miner actually. So definitely a really cool deck, definitely, um, yeah, solid as you can see, 11 one in the grand challenge right now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode so far. I'm definitely having a ton of fun. This deck is just so fun to play with. So let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him a good luck. So let's see what uh, yeah our opponent is using. I can just cycle with skeletons in the back and let's see if he responds with something. If not, I can just go with a hunter in the back. Um, 
So looks like he does again go with Seppi. So again, like could be a Royal Hawks deck. Royal Hawks is definitely really popular. Uh, like right now, I would be surprised if, if like it doesn't get a nerf actually. But it depends. Like if Fokri, for example, gets a nerf, and then the Royal Hawks, uh, yeah, don't. That would definitely be strange. But let's go with. Uh, Roy goes to the right side. Let's go with a look as well. Hunter was able to kill that uh, Royal Hawk on the left side. And I think I will do the same thing, guys. Three Royal Hawks to the left side. And then one Royal Hawk to tank and uh, go with that Royal Ghost. So he does go with a Fireball on the left side. It's good for us since we yeah, have three Musketeers, of course. So it looks like he does have the Mega Knight um, like variation I was talking about earlier. So he does have Mega Knight. He does have Fireball. And he has Bet Spear Goblins. And then Zeppies. And of course the Royal Hawks. He already showed that. So let's see, guys. Let's again split Skeletons in the back. Let's take Chico with an Ice Golem. Um... Since he has Mega Knight, I don't really want to go with 3 Musketeers yet, especially because, uh, like, he would just get so much value with the Mega Knight. So, let's see. Let's just go with the Royal Ghost in the back. He did use the Spear Goblin, so I think I can also go with a look for these uh, two Zeppies. So, let's actually go with a look right now, especially because I don't want to leak any Elixir. Let's then go with... I think right now is a good moment to go with 3 Musketeers because he still needs to counter. Yeah, there you go. There's the Mega Knight. So, he does go with Mega Knight. Let's actually go with Skeletons over here. Um... Let's actually go with the Ice Golem, and the Musketeer is locked on the Mega Knight, but I think the Mega Knight will still be able to hit the tower, and we do need to watch out because the Inferno Dragon is also there, guys. Looks like it is able to hit the Musketeer, and I think I'm forced to go with the Fireball over here. Let's go with the Fireball right now, and looks like that does knock back the Inferno Dragon, but we still take a ton of damage. That was actually really bad timing on my three Musketeers. I thought it was good to, uh, like, kill the Inferno Dragon, but he actually supported with meta with a Mega Knight, so I should have just dropped, um, like, it in the middle, or, like, two Musketeers to the right side, but definitely while playing his part as well. So he did use the Fireball there, and I think he also has the Mega Knight out of cycle, maybe he cycled back to it, but let's see. Now it looks like he didn't cycle back to it, so Royal Ghosts are there, or Royal Hawks are there. I have the Royal Ghosts ready if he goes with Royal Hawks. Um, but look at the amount of damage, guys. This is just insane. Brings down a tower to 1,000, um, like 1,074. Let's go with a look over here. Let's go with Ice Golem. Let's go with Hunter in the left side. And it looks like the Royal Ghost is able to uh, like negate most of the damage, but he still gets a lot of damage. Let's actually go with three Mastiers in the back, like split it. So he does have Mega Knight, he does have Fireball, but right now he actually uses the Mega Knight, so that's good for us. Um, so I'm thinking what to do right now. I think that he will actually go with his Royal Hawks again, so I'll have my Look and my Fireball ready. Let's actually go with Royal Ghost right now. Let's go with Skeletons to the side. Let's actually um, go with Royal Hawks like this. So let's see if he actually goes with Spear Goblins, maybe. Yeah, there you go. There the Spear Goblins. Let's actually go with a look over here. Musketeer gets a ton of value. Look at the Royal Hawks, guys. Let's go with the Ice Golem. Uh, looks like the Ice Golem was lagging a little bit, but let's go with the Royal Ghost in the back. And let's see if we, we might just be able to Spell Cycle, but we do need to watch out, guys. Let's go with three Musketeers to the side. Let's actually surround this with uh, Skeletons. So he does go with... Um, Fireball Zap, so he actually does have the Zap. I actually expected him to have a look, but he did use the Fireball and he did use the uh, Mega Knight as well. So let's just go with Royal Hawks right now. Hopefully he doesn't cycle back to it, but the Hunter actually special on the tower. Royal Ghost is there. Looks like he does go with uh, Mega Knight, but the Fireball will be able to take it. Actually, the look uh, brings it down like to 55. But even if I didn't throw the look, Fireball would have taken it. So that's definitely a good game, guys. As you guys can see, three matches, three wins. Let's give him the good game, give him the well played, and let's give him the thumbs up. So that's awesome, guys. Awesome episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, as I said like earlier, and hopefully you guys could learn something from it. It. definitely really solid um yeah deck definitely really fun deck to play with i already mentioned it like five times so definitely give it a try also as i said in the beginning of the video personally i prefer royal ghost but if you prefer valkyrie like or if you don't have the royal ghost definitely put the valkyrie instead of the royal ghost just try both versions and see what um yeah you like the best but that's awesome guys 12 fun in the grand challenge and i would say let's just hop into the chest opening to end of this episode so it looks like of course we start off with 22k gold which is always nice we get a main horde we get mortar we get better ram we get archers um one mirror we get one balloon, two giant skeletons, we get some elite barbarians, we get some furnace, a lot of furnace actually, lots of rares. Again, a lot of uh, rare Zeppies actually mixed right now, so that's awesome. We get Prince, and I think we might actually get a Legendary right here, guys. That will be awesome. Looks like we do get a Legendary. 696 Snowballs. That's awesome. Giant Snowballs. That's actually a max common right now, so I think I only need like three or four more um, like max cards, like uh, commons or rares. Of course, I still need my Legendaries and Epics, but I think I just need like the Royal Hawks. And then I think one more card, I'm not sure. I think Royal Recruit, so that's actually the only two, like, common arrests, like, not being maxed right now. But enough talking, guys. Let's hop into the Legendary. So let me know. Actually, let's pause the video real quick. And let me know in the comment section down below what Legendary you think I will get. And let's see if you're right. So do that real quick. And then, of course, I will get into the, um, like, Legendary right now. So I would say let's just see what kind of Legendary we get, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And it will be a... Uh Looks like Bandit, so let me know in the comment section down below if you were actually correct. Bandit, 6 out of 20, so definitely really cool legendary, definitely really cool episode. So awesome chest, awesome episode, 3 matches, 3 wins. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. If not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.